I've been doing this for 15 years now. It's been a really rewarding career. I really enjoy the tactical side of this because it, we deal with anything from high risk transports to riots, anything on the outside. My military career helped prepare me for something like this. It was the discipline which helped develop how I act on a specialized response team. Stop, everybody. I'll be quiet for everybody. You're welcome. Take care. Excuse me? You shut me up a long time ago. Step up. I dare you step up, homie. I did nothing wrong. Step up. I dare you. I dare you, ass. Step the up. Now look away. Thank you. You two are with me, ass. Look away. You take care. Peace out, homie. Shut the up. That's right. Thank you. I appreciate it, Mr. Kerr. I dare you. you. Just turn and face the front and mind your business, okay? Like I told the other individual right here, he has no idea what he's doing or why he's here. Just mind yourself. I apologize, Officer Kerr. Take you. Yes, sir. Move down to the middle. You sit there, you be quiet, and mind your business. Well, we gotta get him through the blood draw first. He's got another blood draw he's gonna do, and then... So what happened tonight with Joe? According to all the witnesses, he blew the red light going eastbound on, on Desert Inn as two vehicles were entering the intersection on a green light, and he hit the car and pretty much tore the back end of the car off. Um, the driver wasn't wearing a seatbelt in that car. She was completely ejected from the car and landed in the roadway. His speedometer was pegged at 120 miles an hour. Um, just stopped, locked in place, the moment of impact. Yeah. He did admit to drinking three beers in the golf course earlier, but I don't know that this is related specifically to beer. I think there's drugs on board. Come on. Time to get out. Yes, sir. Keep walking. Keep yes, sir. walking. Yes, sir. <laughs> We're going to be doing a blood test because you sent somebody to the hospital who's possibly gonna die. You probably will. You see my car? Tell me. It's Mr. Atkinson. Atkinson. A is an apple. T is in Tom. K is in, oh, Ken. K-I-N, like, you know what Ken is. Next to Ken. Love you. I will never talk to you again. Take Keep care. Keep down. Yes, sir. I don't have any, sir. I didn't spit. Stop even trying to spit. I didn't spit, sir. Stop trying to. I don't have any spit. No saliva. I apologize. I'll stop. Seven cars involved total. It was actually called in as auto pet because the lady was laying in the road. And he's more worried about his car than... No, yeah. I'm worried about yeah. me, okay? I'm okay. Yeah, well... Thank you. Take your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, he's got a roll. Work sergeant. This one? I don't, I don't think so. I, I'm not... Look, ouch. Keep I'm not. moving. Yes, sir. Which cell? The third one left? I don't know. Z3. Yep. Kneel down. Yes, sir. How many of Don't move until the door shuts. Yes, sir. Yep, I got it. I got it. I don't even think he knows where he's at. I've been saying that to the other officers outside. He has no idea what he's doing, why he's doing it. He's challenging guys out there, then all of a sudden, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I apologize. Good deal. So blood draws are done. We're good to go. Blood draws are done. Joe is quite a bit combative and disruptive. I'm gonna check on him, make sure he's all right. Do you know where you're at? No, sir. <laughs> so you have no idea why you're in jail right now? No, sir. OK. I'm going to go ahead and let you calm down a little bit. I'm going to shut this door and come back and talk to you, OK? Yes, sir. I apologize. <laughs> Even though he claims that he doesn't know why he's here or where he's at, I think everything's starting to set in a little bit. And it looks like he still might be under the influence of something he made may have some other issues going on. I got a phone call and I was dropping the blood off uh, from the first blood draw that uh, the subject of transport that was ejected from the vehicle um, actually opened her eyes and started responding to the doctor. So she's awake right now. So hope for the best for her. So what are you going to charge him with? Right now we're looking at, at uh, felony reckless driving, uh, felony DUI, um, because he doesn't appear to be under the influence of something impairing his system, whether it's drugs or alcohol or a combination of the two. It was it was a big scene. We'll take it from here. All right, thanks, guys. How are you doing? How am I doing? Yep. Uh, I could be better. I, um... Yeah, it could be better. You're only here for a bench warrant. My guys pull you out of the car, you're going to cooperate with them? What am I going to do, try to get myself out of here? Or I'm just asking. I got, that's crazy. why I'm talking yeah. to you and clearing it with you. What am I saying? That was so uncalled for. Like. All right, we'll talk about it inside, all right? We're walking. So 
Sit down. Close your mouth. Put your face on the ground. Rub it on the pavement. Shred your face in the ground. Pound it. Relax. You weren't there. Exactly. Where you? Uh... No. You weren't. I wish I had a lawyer. I... Walk straight down there. And you talk guys to the be cooked. Nurse. Cooked. Down there, and talk to the nurse. Done. You'd be so done. You guys. Uh, All the way down. We'll talk to the... Are you cut? Bleeding? Injuries? Open wounds? Probably. I probably have head trauma. You're being slammed to the ground. I need intensive care. You have any alcohol tonight? Lots of it. You're taking a four. I think four is open, so. OK, come on back here, sir. What am I going to do? So you're going to go into a cell over Pardon here? Something I need. Speeding ticket. I'm just going to let you go in here and sober up a little bit. Speeding ticket. Yeah. Come on. Hell, dude. We're going to take the chain. Just listen to what my guys are telling you. Jesus. Freaking violating me, dude. I hate punks. Look at the wall. If I got to tell you again, you're going to the floor. You don't get to tell me what I get to look at, all right? OK. We do. Please don't express your authority too much for yourself. OK, mister. So you're going to listen to everything they're telling you to do. If you decide, put them back in cuffs. Put them in cuffs. Get on the ground now. Get on your knees. Get on your knees. Get onto your knees and cross your feet. So Go to the ground. There you go. I feel good. Go ahead and go. All right. Can you slam your own head into the wall? Yeah, top. You're so tough. We didn't hurt you, sir. You tried to hurt yourself. I'm not hurting myself. I'm recollecting something in my own mind. By right? slamming your head into the wall? Yes. Yeah. That means slamming, dude. Yeah. Control 1094, 1 to 2C male side from booking. Put him right in the corner. Well, they got no yeah. rooms. Is that what they said? Guys, super right. Right. Wow. We're going to go ahead and uh, place you in the restraint chair since you wanted to bang your head off of the wall because uh, we can't have you doing that. So, Whatever yeah, makes you feel. Um, <laughs> Really. We took him to a side cell. As soon as we took the handcuffs off him, he decided to have, smack his head against the wall, so we placed him on the ground, put him in cuffs. Brought him back out here and put him in the chair. So chokes me out. He's going to sit choke over here me out to where I can't for a pull down period. Are you and, uh, listening we'll to this? They choked me out to where I can't breathe. Slam me on the ground. It's so important to you if you manhandle somebody, isn't it? What does have to do with that, Mr. I'm just trying to get you out. Just trying to get Shut you to up. calm down so we can get you to the process, so we can get you Shut out up. today. So get me through then there. All according to you, to you according to you, according to your mental state, your ego, in jail is I'm not that not tough. It's pretty much just a waiting you. game. Ah, Sit there and wait for your name to be you're called. You're sick. I don't have to be quiet to be out right. But acting like that, how's it working out for you right now? Not very good. Exactly. As soon as you calm down, sir, I'll come back and talk. Yeah, 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 oh yeah. I paid the goddamn fine. It's a speeding ticket. You got a clopper with so. And then what? I mean, I get stuck in the chair? Let's put it in the chair, right? Look at him go. All right, go ahead and stand up. Oh, oh. oh. Bit. My wrist. Jones, oh. 8120. He's still my cooperative. Took his ring. He's in a side now. I swear to God, you're all going to burn now. I can't fill my hand. Uh huh. They still can't fill my hand. Okay, just just need to relax. The chair is not a comfortable place to be, but you're out now. I thought maybe that me and you could probably reason with each other, but. We can. I have a speeding ticket. Okay. You have a bench warrant for a speeding I ticket. You have a bench warrant for a speeding ticket. What does that mean? It means you failed to comply with some court order related to a speeding ticket that you got. I paid. Well, obviously, there was more to it. I don't know what the details are. You're a lot calmer now, which is good to see. That is poor <laughs> You are full of <laughs> Oh, my. But of the 125 people that we have brought into custody tonight, you are the only one that had to be put in a restraint chair. We cannot release you when you're that worked up. So hopefully you're on the road to calming down, to mellowing out. I'm saying that you will ever be looking at your own self in the mirror every day. Every day. Uh, it's like I told him, out of the 125 people that we have brought into custody tonight, he was the only one that had to be placed in the chair. So clearly, he was uh, not behaving appropriately. Hey, he's trying to molest my ass. He grabbed my balls like four yeah. times. What do you got for us tonight? Giving false name, forgery, littering. 
He was standing outside of a convenience store. You're a liar. And a uh, warrant out of Manatee County. Hey, what about the dead hunter in my Cadillac in the back of the harbor? What are you going to do about that? One thing at a time. You're not worried about that, are you? Stand on up. Turn around. This the wall there. Three feet apart. I'm glad he didn't grab my balls like he did. Put the hands down. There's no need for grabbing my balls like you did. You know, that's gay. Making a left. Pass you on the gray stool. Yeah, a list of charges. What happened out there? I don't know. This guy grabbing my balls. This is weird. Hey, he grabbed your balls. You mean during the pat down when he was patting you no, down? More than that. Before he patted me. Well, before and after. He so, grabbed your balls before and then he grabbed your balls after. After, yes. Yeah. Okay, what, but what about the charges? Because we got a list of charges here. We got forgery, giving yes. false name, littering, and a warrant. That's all false. It's all false. What about the warrant? Is that false, too? Uh, the warrant might be somewhat true. What about the forgery? Did you sign somebody else's name to the ticket? No, I signed my name. What did what you sign did you it sign? as? I signed my name. What is your name? Well, look up my name. I know what your name is. I don't know. I don't, you look it up. That's what I signed. Is that right? Yeah. Stand up. I got to do a second pad down. Oh, you want to grab me again? Uh, I don't want to grab you. I want to make sure yeah. you don't get any weapons right. or anything okay. like that. He hasn't searched at all yeah. yet, yeah. so he can't yeah. say it again. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I know, I know. It's the highlight of your you're day. All gay. I know you're all gay. Yeah. Sarasota County is the gayest county. I mean, well, you're here. Guns. I what know. Does that mean you're, you? you're a cutie. Yeah, yeah you're a cutie. Oh, oh she's a cutie? Yes. Okay, so have a seat right there for me. That's like the third or fourth time. Well, then you're you're having a good run of luck tonight. Oh, yeah, it must be nice. OK. Go ahead and stand up. Go with Deputy Johnson. <laughs> so why did you pull him over? I saw this guy standing out in front of the gas station, like on his cell phone, acting all shady. So I, I sat and watched him for a little bit, and he's throwing stuff out of his pockets on the ground. So I see a car pull up, and I'm thinking, you know, there's going to be a drug transaction go on. So. The car picks him up and leaves, so I stop him on the littering charge, and he gives us his name, doesn't come back to anything. I continue checking his real name. It shows he has a warrant under this name, Randolph, which is his real name. Arrest him on the warrant, charge him for forgery, for signing the ticket under a different name. He cussed me out on the way down to jail, saying he's going to kill my family, everything like that. So he's one of those guys. Yeah, he did strike me as a member of Mensa. Actually, go ahead and turn left. Go to left, see. Go to the left, back over this way. Back over there, have a seat on that stool. Are you going to come see me when I'm here? Am I going to come see yes, you when yes, you're in here? Yes. No, I don't really think so. I'm going to see you when you're down here, but that's oh, about it. Okay. And if you want to continue to make inappropriate comments, we can just put you in holding. What is okay? my name, Kirby? I think you know what I'm talking about. What she's saying in a polite term is, we're not playing love connection here, yeah, okay? I'm so not, you, I'm not, not right, stop, yeah, stop, right. stop, stop. Definitely not. Okay, right. you need to zip your lip potato chip on that one because we're done. We can go over there. Go Stand up, it. let's go. Bye. Pathetic. This hey. county's a joke. Hey. All right. Don't be swearing. I won't, sir. Just keep your mouth shut, and yes, you'll get through the process. Yes, sir. I'm serious. I know you, and you know me, right? I know. Yes, sir. So don't yes, swear. Sir. All right. Come over here. Step over here. Yes. OK, I'm going to put you in a holding cell until you can sober up, until you can be cooperative. I'm sober. Uh, I doubt that, sir. I can right. smell the odor of alcohol coming off of you. That's not okay? alcohol. We're done. That's your wife. Outstanding. Oh, oh, my wife. Yeah. Awesome. That's that's Thank very good. Thank Stay you. Down. Come on. I have to put my hand. Yeah. Put, put him in six. Come yeah, on. I told you to cooperate, but you didn't. Know. I wasn't cooperating. You just kind of leave up. Yeah. Come on. You're all up. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. I, Builds I, character. I, yeah. He's going to be placed in here until he could sober up and be cooperative. We got all the time in the world, sir. So just behave yourself, sit down, maybe take a nap. It'll help you out. That's not what your wife said. You can see her in the morning. She'll be on the B squad. I already saw her, and I'm tired of you, bitch. Let's check and see how he's doing. Good to go. Hey, your charges are in. Thank you. There's your three charges. Yes. You gave him the wrong ID, passed the forged instrument, and you had a municipal ordinance for littering. All right, the other thing is you were rude to the female deputy by saying what you said to her. Oh, OK. Remember I'm that? Kidding with her. Well, 
we're in a pretty serious place, so you got to watch what you say. And this deputy here, you might owe him an apology. I think you did. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And that's it, not sorry. It's Deputy Sampi. Sorry, deputy. We've met each other before. So when I'm trying to fingerprint you so you can get out of jail, I really don't appreciate or expect comments like you said to me. Yes, yes. So we'll work on that, all right? We'll be back. Right. You can rest. All right, sorry. All right, thank you. We could probably get him out here shortly. I, I think the alcohol got the best of him in this case. Just one of those guys that requires a little extra loving. Whenever we pat somebody down, whenever we're moving around somebody, we want to be in a position of advantage so that whatever happens, whether they're compliant or they're non-compliant, uh, we're ready pretty much for anything. Sometimes people come in the door and they're very combative. Some people will comply and then all of a sudden we'll be combative. So you just try to always try to be in a position of advantage. Anything on you going to stick me, poke me, or make me bleed? No, sir, man. Excellent. I just got out of jail the other night. Really? Yeah, for what? menacing. Like, I'm behaving myself. I didn't touch these stupid kids. And then, like, five of their friends show up when they weren't even there and said I did it. I'm the one with the bloody whip. None of them have a mark on them. Not one of those kids had a mark. And for some reason, I have assault. Have you been drinking today? Yeah, a little bit, but not bit? recently. It's just this, like, I woke up at 6 this morning and had a pint. I haven't been drinking since then. Those are all harmonicas. I'm a very good harpist. Harpist? Harmonicist. Harmonicist. We call those blues harps. I love those things. I make the most beautiful music. I've just never heard it called a harp before. It's being charged with assault, and I never assaulted anybody, so this is great. Okay. I'm prepared to be sued when I get out. When I take the handcuffs off, your hands need to be on the counter. Yes, sir, I understand. Excellent. All right. Man. This officer already said he would write down that there was no abrasions or marks on these kids' faces and that I was the only one with a bloody anything. My lip was bloody, their faces were not. If I assaulted them, obviously, as you can tell from my knuckles, that if I hit somebody, they would be hurt. So here, help me, help me go through this. Can I find them for you real quick? Sure. Um, that's my dead brother's picture. I really need this. OK, well, let's keep that safe in your property. And it's getting sewed onto one of my pieces. OK. It's my dead brother. Yeah. I need that. I definitely need that. I, I need all these numbers. These okay. are all my friends in various states. OK. You're going to have a seat over here in the back two rows. Walk this way, guys. What brought him to jail today? He was at uh, Pioneer Square with his other friend. They were bothering people walking by, uh, trying to bum a cigarette. There was a couple kids skateboarding. Uh, they kicked the skateboard out from one of them. And then when the kid uh, got upset, they grabbed him by the throat and pushed him up against the wall. Then another guy walking by saw it, tried to intervene, and he got punched in the back by uh, Jesse also. So. You got two counts of harassment, strangulation, and disorderly conduct. Usually I'm arrested for things I do do, like drinking in public, smoking marijuana, or like beating people up. But like, that's when I actually beat people up and they have evidence against me for that. Right. Like, I remember chasing one dude around the corner. Right. Because he told me he had a gun. He said he'd shoot me. I was like, really pull it and shoot me, dude, because I don't give a he don't know where I'm from. Philadelphia. I ain't worried about being shot. You have a gun to shoot me before I get to you. That's my point of view on it. Just mad because I didn't even touch these people. Still got to take it to court, but there's the chance that I have to stay in here all the way until I go to court, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have a dog. I have a fiance out there. Got things to take care of, man. I even know. All right, Mr. Grab your stuff. All right, man. Thank you. You're welcome. You have a beautiful night, you sir. Too. Thank you for doing your job. I understand that's all you're doing. More than likely, he'll get out of jail tonight, and they'll have a court date for Monday, so he'll come back to court on Monday, hopefully. But he's also a transient, which are also known to not show up to court, and then we'll put a warrant out for his arrest. Man. Right over here. All right. Uh, uh, real, oh. man. You got anything sharp in your pockets? No, I no. don't. What happened? No. They tell me I'm beating on my wife, man. My baby, my girl got a baby, and, <laughs> and she oh, got man. kicked out of the Rialto. And now they're saying that now I'm the one beating on her, man. Crazy. What's the Rialto? The bar. The bar. The bar. Okay. My girl, she's telling him right there, he didn't do nothing. He didn't do nothing. But I'm still going to jail because somebody else said they see something different. 
I never touched her, man. All the dope dealers on the street, and you gotta make me go to jail for doing the right thing? Because you a hater? What are you, a d or what, man? That's great. Right. Why you talk down for Hey, like man, Vincent. beat your mother yeah. bitch hey, ass, hey, punk. Hey, hey, it's hey, not hey. nice. You ain't Vincent. Vincent. Sign right here. I brought you here. your mother face, bitch. I ain't even a cop, bitch. Yo, my mom. Punk. Vincent, right here. One more. Come on. You can't okay. paper. Sign a paper. Ass, bitch. Vincent. Buy your mom. Sign <laughs> you, man. Vincent, I brought you. Come on. Let's take a time out for a sec. Come on, man. Easy. Easy. Well, that ain't right, though, man. Have a sit, man. We'll get, you, we'll get you in a couple minutes. Just have a seat. Chill out. He was brought in for domestic violence, coercion, and assault for He's kind of drunk. He's been drinking. Chances are there's something more going on than Vincent was telling us. Hey, Vincent. Yeah. Come on out, man. We'll get you processed. Are you on parole or probation? Parole. Okay, they did a PV on you too, just to let you know. Wrong, man. She told him let me leave him alone. He never did nothing, man. All right. So why am I in jail for nothing? Well, you got assault for DV, uh, coercion, which means you were uh, permitting somebody to move freely. Come on, man. And then man. they put a detainer on. I'm just telling you what they did, so you'll know what's going on. All right. Nobody did nothing. All right. All right. Go to have a seat. Hey, Vincent. What are you on? What are you on parole for? Now, what did you do prison time for? For, for a uh, burglary. Burglaries? All right. Come on, man. I'm the sober one. I'm the one that's not drinking. No, I don't I'm know how sober you are. I'm not okay, bad. Come on. You look, do I look A little bit, yeah. But I'm, but I'm good enough you're, you're, you're to not hammered. You're not hammered, you're not hammered but, you're, no, yeah, you, hammered, but you've I'm been coherent. drinking. But I'm coherent, you are, though. You are, you are. And I know what's going on, right? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Nobody's gonna hurt that. That's my wife with a baby, man. All right. Let's see up. You know I ain't a bad guy, right? You don't seem like it. Yeah, all right. All right, right over here. Sit over here. Right here. Whoa. Hey, all right, don't go down. <laughs> the pants, you know what it is? No, I don't think it's the pants. It's the pants, man. I think it was the, the booze you. before the pants. Oh, come on, man. All right, all right take this. You're going to walk Mary down this black with line? A, with a baby in her body. And act like I'm trying to hurt her. Will you direct them, Fitch? All right, go and have a seat. Yeah. Can I get a sandwich? Well, uh, what's they give you a wristband? Domestic violence, they can't take a chance. If, there's, if they even think there's been an assault, they have to arrest. A lot of times, the person that's being victimized won't tell the truth for fear. They, that she'll lose. Maybe he's supporting her. Maybe he's you know, paying, the, paying the bills. But it doesn't mean that she's not being assaulted by him. So I have to wait and see. Just got a guy come in. Seems like he's a little agitated. Go out there and see what's going on. Debeers, what you got? What was he charged with? Exposure of sexual organs. I don't want to call it a disturbance. One of the employees said that he was inside with his penis hanging out, and he was told multiple yeah, times to, you know, to get his zip back out and put himself back together, and he refused to do so. There was a lot of people inside there, families and things like that. I exposed myself. I'm sorry. I didn't know I did. I didn't do it intentionally. I'll be informed. Well, from from the arresting deputy, it sounds like it had more than once. They can understand, like, once. Sir, I went know. in there to get two goddamn burgers, mm -hmm. and that's all. OK. Well, that's I got fine. harassed by somebody else. I called you guys. Mm -hmm. I am the one that called you. Sarah said the county's going to have another lawsuit in their hand. OK, sir, have you ever been arrested here before? No comment. No comment? Well, you know we can find it out real quick, right? They're going to ask you anyways. No yeah? So why ask? You want to be difficult, we can put you in a holding cell for the rest of the night. You won't have a chance to bond out. So is that the way we want to roll? Look, I don't care. I shouldn't be here now. Okay, I'm wearing more clothes. Unfortunately, you are here. So your yes. best bet is to operate with us, all right? I have nothing to say to you. I, okay. I always read my Miranda. OK. That's all fine. right? I'm not Do you have you, anything else to I'm say I'm not asking you, you anything about your crime, am I? I didn't do anything wrong. OK, well, I'm not I'm asking here. about that. I'm asking if you're going to cooperate with us. They always have. You guys are cool. All right. This is bull. Go to that wall for me. I'll catch you down, OK? You got anything on you that's going to poke me? Any kind of weapons on you at all? Yeah, nothing knife, to nothing? say to you. You want to make it more than it is? Go ahead, sir. Okay. Stay here all year. Go put your hand on that wall for me. How's that, buddy? It's perfect. I thought so. OK. Come on to the left. Go ahead and put your belt right up here on the counter for me. Hey, look, these pants will fall off if they do. OK, that's fine. Look, Just hold I'm them up. I'm here for indecent exposure because my pants are, are busted. You, are you listening? 
Take your belt off. Hold your pants up. All right. Now, have a seat. There. Are you happy? Have a seat. Out. Have a seat. Hey. Can I please? Have a seat. Just have a seat. I'll just. How many times I tell you how to see? Stop resisting. I'm not resisting. Lay on your stomach. Sir, this is great. Come on, dude. Come on, goddammit. I was just trying to button my pants. Well, I told you to have a seat now, didn't I? I was trying to. You don't need to harass me like this. Why didn't you sit down? I was doing it at the same time. Oh, you were. You jumped me. Say this mess is just Nazi, bitch. I've got a heart problem. I feel like I'm having a heart attack, man. My heart's hurting. We're going to sit up on three. One, two, three. There you go. Stand up. Have him sit, sit on the stool. Here, I need you to sit up for a minute. When I first when I first talked to you and asked you if you had any problems, no. You're not gonna do this. You know there's nothing wrong with you. I asked you if you had any medical problems, and you did not mention a heart problem. I've got a known heart attack problem. You didn't you didn't and mention that. When well, I why are you like, I'm telling you now, man. No, you had a chance earlier. I'm not doing anything wrong, man. You're not listening. You just gotta listen to what we tell you to do. What? You're not listening. Yes, I am. You we sure? tell you to sit, you sit. I was going to just drop that my goddamn britches, man. You just told what me they're broken. You told me they're broken. One. They are. I've got one goddamn thing. Don't move. And I tell you three or four times to sit down, you sit down. OK. Stand up. Stand up. Let's, uh, stand up. What the? Walk sit down, away. stand up. Come sit down, stand up. My pants are goddamn red. Pants. Oh, come on. Oh, in my pants, goddamn it. Are you kidding me? Six, sit here and act like a fool in jail. <laughs> goddamn right. So I ain't done nothing wrong from the get-go, man. If I'd done something wrong, I wouldn't be giving you such a hard goddamn time. And get myself in no trouble. I just wanted two goddamn burgers. Mm -hmm. I love you guys. I respect the uniform. I don't respect the people that are in it sometimes. I mean, you're one of them. I think you're more or less just heated about getting arrested. Yes, I am. I didn't whoop my out. God damn, I'm not like that. All right, OK, well, that's fine. Go ahead and hand. We want, we want you to have a seat. Bed, relax. And we'll process you. You guys want to come yeah. up? <laughs> well. This sucks. He tells me his pants are broken, so I don't know why he's trying to close his pants. Uh, he's probably just intoxicated. We'll get him through this. Right. So. I'm going to go in here and talk to Thaddeus, give him a cup so he can maybe drink some water and sober up. I'm sure at this point he's probably a little more cooperative. Hey, Thaddeus, got a cup for you, man. Like I said before, you and I, we never had any problems before. I think you were just overly heated about your charge, and I, I can understand. All right? But listen, next time you come in, I tell you to sit down, just sit down. Yeah, you know? OK? No problem, and we'll get you through this. But yeah, drink some water, let's sober up, let's yeah, get you a, a I'm mattress. Good. I'm good, man. All right. I just, I'd like to get covered up and go to sleep. OK, yeah, give me like 20 minutes. Not a problem. OK, and we'll get you up there, and we'll get you sleeping. Thanks, guys. No problem, man. Seems like he was pretty heated about his uh, exposure charge. Got the best of him. I understand him being upset, but when we tell you to sit down, it's time to sit down. Yeah. So seems like you know he's spent a couple hours in there. He's uh, calmed down now. Yeah. So city just called. They said they have a combative, intoxicated female coming in. Are you gonna walk? Yes. Okay, stand up. You want to grab help? Help her. We'll get this side. Can we get that side? I'm not going to fight you guys. Why are you guys acting like I am? Just go ahead and walk. She said that we need to not kill herself with your fingernails if she had to. Okay. I have all kinds of medical problems, but I ain't going to tell you until I have a seizure and I die. Well, that's why I want you to help yes, us. Yes, I have seizures. Okay. I'm going to tell you that. Do you take any medication? Uh, yes, I do, but I'm not going to tell you what I take. Just go. I'm uncooperative. Kill me. I want to die. How's that sound? Okay, what kind of seizure do you have? You'll find out. I flip it and flip it around on the floor. Okay. Well, do you have another problem than seizure? Why should I tell you? So you are helping me. You guys don't help me. Has your meds been changed? No, 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 no. And I haven't okay. been on my meds for a year. Okay, are you suicidal? Yes, I am. Okay, well, no, I'm not. 
You're not suicidal? Have you been suicidal in the past? Yes, but I'm not going to hurt myself. Oh my God, my hand hurts. I don't care anyway, so why even care? They don't care, you don't why care. Why do you care, waffle drinker? I don't care, I'm not a waffle You eat drink. more waffles than most mother drink in this place. What's a waffle drinker? You little waffle drinking what bitch. What is that? What is it? Shut the hell up. What's a waffle drinker? Yeah. I don't know what that is, what is it? Whatever. Well then die, bitch. You die, bitch. You're from Utah County anyway, you bitch. I'm not from Salt Lake County. Yes, you are. Shut no, up. I'm Salt Lake County. <laughs> I got homeboys that were there will eat you for breakfast, bitch. Get up. Real quick, bitch. Shit, dude. Big old stick south side, bitch, right here, nigga. Right, sir. Take her over to the station. No ID. OK. Brandon, put your head on the wall for me. Yes, sir. Good oh. thing are you going to poke me, stick yes. me? Yes. What's going to poke me, I don't know. You me? look. Have fun. <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> Just laughing at my own jokes. That OK with you? Ow. That hurts. Oh, that hurts, bitch. Do not grab me. I didn't grab you, bitch. I didn't resist him. Okay. <laughs> Why are you guys trying to hurt me? We're not trying to hurt you. I'm going to die anyway. Just, just wait until they're done with the search, and then we'll have you served on her. Until they're done abusing me? You're done? Until they're done abusing me? Yeah. Okay, we're going to walk inside. You're going to walk backwards. What? You're going to walk backwards. Don't walk in. I cannot walk anymore. Yes, My feet hurt. Yes, Don't do that. Oh, no. Set her down. Just set her down. Set My her ankles off. are hurting. Oh, can you yeah, yeah. loosen the cuffs and I will walk? You can walk with the No, I can't. They hurt. Out there? All I asked is to loosen the cuffs up and I'll walk. We got a wheelchair behind you. you I don't stand I, you I'd up? rather walk. Can tell we you just stand you up? Oh my god, you got any kids? I got some kids, man. I don't want to treat my kids this way. Thank you. I can walk now. I promise. All right. Walk her towards her legs. There we go. There you go. Hey, there. I'll walk her back her. Walk her backwards. Oh, wait, wait, back? Backwards. Why is she hurting my wrist? Walk backwards. Walk backwards. Why are you twist my wrist, bitch? No! Let go of my wrist! Let's go, Jody. Ben, no! She's twisting my wrist. No! Hey, why are they hurting my wrist? Let go of my wrist, bitch! You bitch, man. You're a bitch. Don't grab my fingers. I don't give a f what are you gonna do? Hey. <laughs> go ahead, bitch. Keep her. Keep her in the lot. Why? Hey. Go down your knees. Go down to your belly. Hey! Stop grabbing my wrist, bitch. I hope your daughter grows up to love you, man. Jordan, you need to lay on the floor and don't move until the, you hear the door close. You understand? Yes, sir. Go. Jody's brought in as an intox combative and a suicidal prisoner as well. We're going to give her a little bit of time to sober up, have mental health, talk to her, and evaluate her, and keep an eye on her a little bit further before moving to another step. How are things going, Jody? Better. How are they? You feeling a little bit better? I just want to use the bathroom. OK. Until you get cleared, this is the cell you've got to kind of stay in. OK. Did you, were you injured in the in the altercation that happened earlier today? I got bruises on my shoulder. OK. And the, the nurses were able to take a look at that stuff, though? OK, fantastic. Um, really, you're you're pretty close to being out through the process, and you're doing exa exactly what we need you to do. You're cooperating with the officers. It'll be a very short time before we get you through the booking process, all right? OK, sorry about that. You know, unfortunately, that's just the way it goes, and we just kind of do our job. OK, thank you. All right, thank you. You know, Jody's a good example of people that come in uh, in, in altered states of intoxication, uh, states of agitation. We never know what happened with them on the outside, and so we just have to deal with each situation individually. We'll take the opportunity to try to help the people through their, uh, their troubled times.